This week I'm back in Bath catching up with a couple who put Kirsty and I through the mill on what was one of our toughest searches ever. Sadie and Simon had fallen out of love with their three-storey house and wanted to swap it for life on one level. No, I don't mean a flat, a bungalow. So it is stunning, but I think bungalows in Bath, they're having a laugh. Anyone got a bungalow? Oh, stop it! You'll show us up. Sadie and Simon had sold their gorgeous Georgian townhouse, but they'd got only three weeks until they and their three kids were going to be homeless. But in a town famous for its grand architecture, it was no surprise that after 12 months of searching for a bungalow, they still hadn't found the right place. Sadie buys and sells vintage clothes, and if that wasn't enough, she also looks after Ruby, Kizzy and Billy at home. The three-storey house in Bath just wasn't practical for their needs. There's no downstairs toilet, which I know doesn't sound like the end of the world, but when you've got three youngsters, I'm constantly running up, to, up and downstairs with one of them. There's no utility room, there's no playroom for the kids, so, you know, the lounge is constantly full of toys. And the space was no longer practical for Simon either. He's a composer and wanted to work from home, but living in a terrace made this impossible. Instead, he rented a studio nearby. But they weren't quite ready to sacrifice everything for single-storey living. I think our challenge this week is actually to make sure they realise what a pickle they're in. You are being shoved out onto the doorstep in three weeks' time. So, frankly, things you might have discounted previously are going to look a bit better than they did before. I'm not so <laughs> sure. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we've sold a lovely house, a lovely home. I'm not going to buy something that I don't love. We're prepared to look at, you know, any okay. options. And, and if you throw something our way that we would maybe haven't considered in the past, then, you know, all well and good. Um, whether we'll like it or not is another <laughs> matter. <laughs> I'm speechless. No wonder these guys have been searching for so long. There doesn't seem to be much movement in their brief whatsoever. I was thinking they were up you-know-what creek without a paddle. In fact, it's us that's up the creek without a paddle. Sadie and Simon want a four-bedroom period bungalow in Bath with a huge garden and an outbuilding that can be converted into a studio, all for £440,000. But as we know, bungalows are rare, and as this move is all about finding a livable layout, we're not going to shy away from showing them houses where the space works just as well. Whenever you're looking for an unusual property, you've got to go the extra mile. Now, there are 40 estate agents in Bath, and we're in touch with every single one of them. But more than that, we've checked private sales ads, websites, we've leaflet dropped, we've spoken to architects, to planners, to builders. There is no stone left unturned in this city, but I'm afraid our shortlist is still very, very short. There's no getting away from it. This search has been a nightmare. But we've managed to find them a bungalow that's already had its attic space converted. It's in the village of Box, slightly outside their preferred patch, but we've had to trade location for single-storey style. Simon, what's your views of being in Box? It would be right on the edge of where we'd like to live. But you understand that we've come six, seven miles out of Bath in order to find the plot size. What's going through your mind? Um... Retirement house. Oh, ho, ho, that! <laughs> that is rich coming from you! You wanted a bungalow! I'll give a retirement home. This bungalow is pretty bang on for my mind. There's a sunny lounge, brand new kitchen, family bathroom and four large bedrooms. And there's a huge garden with fabulous views. It's on the market for £415,000. First things first, front room. Now, Phil and I are slightly knocked back by... We thought you'd be more enthusiastic. Right. And we're... A little disappointed, but we're going to soldier on because we're that kind of people. I'll take this room for example. If that fireplace wasn't you, which I suspect it isn't, absolutely not. Mm. You could immediately but, yeah. replace it, yeah. sure. and those windows can really, really be immediately replaced. Yeah. Does that make it a bit cheerier? <laughs> I think we'll, we need to see. You go, you go and have and explore. an explore. Okay. okay. Yeah. She looks really miserable and upset. She looks really upset, and I was so. I think I'm going to cry. 
A bit early for tears, Kirsty. It's only house one. On paper, this bungalow has everything they've asked for, and they could move in straight away. Perfect for a soon-to-be homeless family. Surely the amazing upstairs will swing it. So this um, loft extension was put on two years ago. Oh, right. I think they've done a very good job. They've got... Oh, this is sweet. Two good-sized bedrooms. Yeah. Both the rooms have got these ensuite bathrooms. And the other bedroom at the end. Are we doing better as you've gone through the house? I don't know. There's something missing. Mm. I'm not getting that feeling. Let's hope we have more joy outside. The garden here is pretty special. Surely Simon will fall for it. I don't know. There's something not quite grabbing me at the moment about it. I mean, it is lovely. It's really well done. Bungalow, which you wanted. Good village, great garden, good price, good view. And you're homeless in three weeks with your three children. What is there to grab you? I would grab it. I just don't like it. And it's fine. I know we're being crazy. Tomorrow, but... we'll kidnap the children and give them each a very heavy <laughs> little suitcase and set them walking down the street. And that will bring home to you the reality of your situation. A bit strong, Kirsty. But we have clearly missed the mark with this one. We really need to get to the bottom of what's wrong with it. I was really enthusiastic about this. Really? And this is so wrong. And this is so wrong. We're compromising on location. Okay. So if we're compromising on location, I've got to be wowed. I've got to... I've, I've got to love it, and I don't. I don't okay. even like it. Oh, no. This is the only bungalow we found worth showing them. Bath is a Georgian city, not a retirement village, and bungalows are a rare breed indeed. We're in big, big trouble. Now, we know that location is king, and they don't want to leave their comfort zone. So, with that in mind, we're back in Bath. In fact, our next property is only one street away from where they currently live. It may not be a bungalow, but it's a great house which could really work for them. It would be perfect to be here because we're stone's throw away from the in-laws, so, yeah. <laughs> so that we're would in, be good. We're in the right location, oh, which yeah. is always yeah. a really good start. So, in-laws and local schools, the street's a real winner. And I reckon the layout's spot on as well. Downstairs, there's a big lounge, dining room and contemporary kitchen. Upstairs, there are three good-sized bedrooms, a brand-new bathroom, and the owners have recently converted the loft into a huge master bedroom with ensuite bathroom. They said they wanted a big garden, and for Central Bath, this is massive, with plenty of space to build a studio for Simon. Plus, it's got that all-important downstairs toilet. And it's a steal at 110 grand below their 440 grand budget. It may just blow the bungalows out of the water. Now, here we've got a good-sized dining area and a very good-sized kitchen. This is all bigger than what you've currently got for less money than what you're selling your house for. You're looking like your bottom lip's about to wobble, Sadie. <laughs> yes, it feels like that, to be honest with you. It's absolutely not... A thing. No, really. because I feel like we would be swapping our house for less of a house. I think that's a problem we're going to come across over the next few days, because you live in a lovely house yeah. that doesn't suit your requirements. Mm. In order to get something that matches your yeah. requirements, it's unlikely to be as nice. They're being so negative about this house, but it's got loads of space. Maybe Phil can talk Simon round. The thing that strikes me straight away is that it feels like it's quite overlooked. If the studio could be put here, it would block the, yeah. that view from yeah. the house, would the garden then suffice? No. OK. Realistically <laughs> speaking, I don't think so. Well, what it's, do you think Sadie will be saying? I think she'll probably be saying, when are we going to the next property? I'm not going to stand here and have a conversation with you where we pretend that I think you're going to buy this house. <laughs> yes, let's be realistic. <laughs> the garden really bothers me. The garden. It's not big enough. And I'm not sure about the layout either, to be honest with you. Oops, we're in a pickle. Two properties down and two firm no's. It's not surprising these guys have been house hunting for 12 months. Well, desperate times call for desperate measures. We're doing something we've never done before and taking a monumental risk. We're going to show them a property that isn't even for sale. They are undecided as to whether they're actually going to sell it, and it does depend on the offer. I'm back in Bath revisiting a couple who'd wanted to swap their Georgian townhouse for a one-storey bungalow. But it seemed like both luck and the property market were against us. I feel like 
we would be swap swapping our house for less of a house. I just don't like it. We've gone on and on and on and on at the agents for weeks now, and it seems like it might just have paid dividends. A few of them mentioned a bungalow that they valued six months ago within Sadie and Simon's budget, but it didn't come onto the open market. Yeah, it's just, it's so, never ones to shy away from a challenge. We contacted the vendor directly and asked if it was for sale. He wasn't 100% committed to selling, but said we could come and take a look. It's in the hamlet of Longsplat, only a 15-minute drive from Central Bath, and sits on an acre plot with breathtaking views. It's pretty special, but we're taking a big risk in even showing them a house that isn't on the open market. We've never done anything like this before, and I'm worried if they fall for it, we may not even be able to secure it. They are undecided as to whether they're actually going to sell it, and it does depend on the offer. The very fact that they're letting us come to see it is a good sign, because if they were really not going to sell, they wouldn't be letting us view it. So we think it's worth a punt. We're but... very excited today. We weren't yesterday when we okay. approached the, the properties. Okay. Today, I really want to go in. It's great. Well, come on, let's chat. More viewing. I might get on my hands and knees and beg them. <laughs> <laughs> let's hope it doesn't come to that, Sadie, but it's certainly an option. This bungalow was built in 1913 and has a unique layout. There's a huge kitchen diner, playroom, sitting room, family bathroom and two double bedrooms, all on one level. In this case, the loft hasn't been converted, but an extension was added onto the back of the property 30 years ago to give another double bedroom, sitting room, galley kitchen and shower room. It needs updating, but space-wise it's perfect and was valued six months ago at between £350 and £450,000. This is the second bedroom here, which right. is a nice big size. Right. And family bathroom in here. Right. With separate shower. OK. Needs a bit of an update. Yeah. And then coming through here, what we've got here is a little area that I think you could kit out as a playroom. Because right. through here is what you're going to want to have as a big kitchen family room. Yeah. Well, the key to yesterday's rejections was the garden. But this one is an absolute stunner. Wow, it's absolutely beautiful. There is... Breathtaking, I would say. Breathtaking will <laughs> yes. do. Breathtaking will do. <laughs> Simon's number one priority was room for a music studio, and this place doesn't disappoint with a double garage ripe for conversion. It's fantastic. It's an acre plot. It's one I, I really... Acre. I don't know what to say. No. <laughs> really is. No, it's, it's absolutely perfect. Simon, can you perfect. see yourself living here? Yes, oh, now. Without a shadow of a doubt. Obviously, it's not on the open market, so it's not <laughs> as though we're saying, here's a package. That's the problem no. with this one, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? That, that is that, the problem. That's the problem. This, we seem to be good at this, yeah. this sort of thing. The only thing missing from this property is the uh, for sale sign outside, <laughs> which is slightly <laughs> worrying. Yes, that is a worry, and it's one that needs addressing. Hiya. Right, we ready to roll? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yeah, we love it. Absolutely love it, but we're kind of reluctant to fall in love with it too much just in case. Wise move. Yes. Very wise <laughs> move. <laughs> it's fantastic that they've fallen for it, but I'm glad they're being realistic, as there's every chance we may not be able to secure it. Let's face it, they're homeless in three weeks and we need to keep on searching. And we found a one-off. It may not be a bungalow, but it's an absolute dazzler. And there's a for sale board outside. Sadie and Simon are looking for something unique, and this doesn't disappoint. It's a fabulous double-fronted cottage with a massive garden, bang in the centre of Bath. All this, and it's under budget, what more could they ask for? The best way to appreciate this house is from the rear garden. It's fabulous, and I want it to be the first thing they see, so I'm not taking any risks. Simon's house. Close your eyes. OK. Close it? Seriously? <laughs> yes. Has this ever been done before? No, never. This right, is the first. Okay. Cool. Now, turn to your uh, left, 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 right. OK, you can open your eyes now. Oh, lovely garden. Lovely garden. Yeah. Now, Sadie, you just have a walk up those steps behind you. <gasps> oh, wow. It's an upside-down house. It certainly is. It's quirky and so them. On the ground floor, there are three characterful bedrooms and a family bathroom. Whilst upstairs, there's a fourth bedroom that they could use as a playroom, a rustic kitchen and an amazing open-plan sitting room. This house is spectacular and I know they're just going to love it. 
So this is classified as their lounge, I guess. This, yes, right. exactly. But this is just family lounge. Yeah. And I mean, the view is just something else. It's very unusual. It's, it's amazing. It's totally unusual. I'm, yeah. I've very rarely seen anything like this. I'm nuts about this house. And this kitchen is lovely and very much more up your alley than any kitchen we've seen. I really like it. I do really like it. But I don't think Simon will want this. Really? Yeah. He won't want that busy road. The one thing that strikes you straight away is the main road outside. But you, you want her to live in the central bath, where the roads are a bit bigger. We want than everything, don't we? We want everything, and we're not going to get everything, I know. You said it. Oh dear, I'm getting that sinking feeling. It's absolutely lovely, and five years ago we would have had it like that. It's lovely, it lovely house. Quirky. Quirky, you know what? I think yeah. all this quirky, is balls. Too quirky. It's all balls. <laughs> This is a great house. Yeah. It's not for you. No. The house you want was the one we found yes. this morning. We've got to make sure that's A, for sale. Yeah. B, Would help. can be purchased at a price that you can afford. Yeah. And C, work out how you can alter that house to make it suit Absolutely. you. Absolutely. There's no getting away from it. The bungalow has blown them away. But this is no simple option. No matter how much Sadie and Simon love this house, there are no guarantees that the owner will sell and it's our job to keep their feet firmly on the ground. It is lovely. It is absolutely beautiful. I just don't want to think about it too much. <laughs> because if we don't get it, this one's going to be hard. Very hard. This isn't straightforward. I need to speak to the owner to see just what the situation really is. I love this spot, mm. and I don't really want to go. Mm. But if somebody made me the right offer, then I would probably have to accept it. Mm. Understood. This is a really heartbreaking situation. There are so many emotions involved because we're dealing directly with the owner and not an agent. Hey, you two. Hello. I think Council of War is what we need. We found right. out quite a bit of information, lots to discuss. Yeah, okay. tactics. Sadie and Simon's maximum budget is 440 grand. Six months ago, this bungalow was valued between 350 and 450 grand, but the owner is reluctant to sell it. This is a difficult situation. We need to maximise their chances of securing it. You have to tell us what is the maximum price you can pay for that house, given that we, A, don't want it to go on the open market, Yeah. B, you have been searching for a year and you know how suitable it is. Absolutely. And C, it is a really, really cracking investment. I know. We've been thinking 420. Yeah. I mean, would 420 I mean, be attractive to I him? I think it would. I mean, it's, it's nearer the top end of his valuation, yeah, exactly. isn't it? It's not halfway. OK, well, that, that's my comfort yeah, zone. Yeah, I think 420 is pretty good. I'm shaking already. Let's just do it because I, yeah. <laughs> I'm so stressed. I believe the best way to secure this bungalow is to write an honest and straightforward letter to the owner. Not only does it have to detail their financial situation, but also show that they've fallen in love with the property and want to raise their three children there. A week later, they heard back from the owner. He wanted to see them in person. When Hugh actually said that we could have the house. That was unbelievable, wasn't it? It was. It was absolutely actually, amazing. Actually, the, the reaction just... was unexpected. I mean, yes. you burst into tears. Thank didn't you? you, Simon. Yeah, yes, I did, all, which is very was... unlike me. But I just, I just felt really, just I suppose, relieved. Do you know what I mean? Because we re we wanted it so badly. I it was, wanted it so it badly. Was unbelievable, the feeling. And it, yeah, it was amazing. We were just in seventh heaven. They moved in just three months later and have been busy making it their own. Just over a year on, and I'm back to see how things worked out. Sadie and Simon's was one of the most stressful searches we've ever undertaken. This was the only suitable house within a 20 mile radius, and it wasn't even for sale. So there was a lot of blood, sweat and tears spilled. I'm dying to see whether it was all worth it. Sadie, good morning. How are you? Very well. Good to see you. Yeah, you too. How are you doing? Come on in. Sadie and Simon have wasted no time putting their stamp on this house. But has it all lived up to <laughs> expectations? Oh, and more, oh, definitely. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Every day I just think, I can't believe we've got this place. I can't believe it. And what it. is it's it? Just... The change of lifestyle? It's just the peace and the quiet and 
and the kids out in the garden and you know, going oh, walking in the countryside. Yeah, they? it's I mean, unbelievable. It's just, I've often yeah. thought even if we won the lottery, I wouldn't want to move. With this setting, it's easy to see why. What's more, they've transformed this dated bungalow into a chic country home. The kitchen has a fab retro feel, and the once cluttered study is now an open playroom for the kids. Sadie's got her wish, with not one, but two loos on the ground floor. But the back of the house has had the most incredible change, where four rooms have been knocked into one huge living space. Oh, Sadie, big changes in here. Yep. Spectacular. Yes. We got there in the end. Did you do the actual work yourselves? Yep, all of it. What, you and Simon, <laughs> hammers and chisels? It was hard work, yeah. really hard work. Yes, many yeah, especially late with nights three kids. and, yeah. But you were um, presumably both still trying to work from home as well. Yeah, yeah. You have had a busy exactly. year, haven't yeah. you? <laughs> yes, we have. It's been a tough year. Yeah, which is why we've, we've sort of finished this part of the house and we think we'll leave that for a few years now. Yeah. We can live with the bedrooms and, the, yeah. you know, we're going to leave that for a yeah. while. And just Wait for motivation. Yeah. Just enjoy return. the house. The house was perfect, but it was the garden that they really fell in love with. You've got everything. Flowers, yeah. raspberries, artichokes, potatoes. It's, and it's, you know, every night, fresh fruit and veg. The Fantastic. Good the good life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The kids must love it. Look at the They're, swings. Yeah. Just watching them play in the garden is just absolutely fantastic. It's That's brilliant. That's what it was all about. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> but what about Simon's all-important music studio? At the moment, I'm still in the house, but have got the double garage and the lean-to, and we've got permission now for three rooms. Okay. So that's, you know, that'll be our next big job. So things are all looking good for Simon's very own workspace in the garden. Planning permission has been granted and it's now just a case of completing the necessary paperwork. <laughs> Raspberry cake from the garden. A wonderful, wonderful family life for the kids and time together. It really is fairy tale stuff. Mm. You've done it so feels well. like it. It does without wanting to sound gushy or anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, of course you did spend 420,000, yeah. that's a great deal of money. It was a lot of money for us, you know, now we've got a massive mortgage, which we didn't have before, but it's worth every penny of it. It really is, because it's changed our lives totally. So you paid 420, mm. you'd be pleased to know yeah. they put it on the market today at 545. <gasps> wow, that's incredible. With a little help from the market and a lot of elbow grease, the value's increased by an incredible 30% in just over a year. It's fantastic, but, you know, yeah. it's our home, it's so it's, <laughs> it's, it's nice to know. Yeah. No, this is where we want to grow old. You've done brilliantly. Mm. Thank and you. 545 grand. I know it's all yeah. relative. That's fantastic. Nice to know yeah, that well. is. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> I don't mind admitting now that at times, Kirsty and I thought that we were beat. But as tough as it was, it's got to go down as one of our biggest successes. That is one very happy family. I am a bit relieved they don't want us to do it again, though.